Oh, Freak Nation. This could be a fun couple of hours here in the Lucas Oil Studio. Statman Crash Gladys, Kenny Sargent, Richard C. Squabby. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and every other social media account that we're on. TikTok, Shorts, we're there for you. Kind of like those punches that Ricky Stenhouse Jr. landed on Kyle Busch's face post-All-Star race. I can tell you this, Freak Nation, we're planning on doing the first 30 minutes or so on what happened over the weekend regarding the Indy 500 qualifying with Kyle Larson and all the Penske madness. But the fist hurt around the pits of motorsports with, oh, man, with Ricky Stenhouse Jr. on Kyle Busch. Again, stat man, how many times have we been in newsrooms where you've got the full one hour of the news broadcast laid out? This is how it's going to go. And then seconds before you go live, bam, something happens to where you got to drop it all in the trash and roll with the punches in no programming. Yeah, roll with the punches is exactly right. You have to get them <laughs> out there. And uh, But uh, Stenhouse promised. I'm going to do something about it. It's not going to be a waste of time. Stay tuned, as we say in the news business. Right after this break, they had the break, and all of a sudden, jaws were breaking and fists were flying, and everything was upside down. Yep, I think his specific words were, well, after he said, I'm not going anywhere. There's no tunnel here. I can't leave. And so then he said, just watch after the race. Well, we did, and we got some entertainment. Well, more entertainment, more entertainment than the race, that's for sure. Without question. Yeah, leading up to the race, if the only highlight, frankly, was Kyle Larson taking off in an airplane from Indianapolis, landing in an airplane, and then taking a helicopter to (laughs) North Wilkesboro to run in the All-Star, if that's your only highlight up until the punch was thrown after the race... (laughs) I mean, Joey Logano, that's the easiest million dollars. Joey Logano can't win a freaking points race, but when there's a million dollars at stake, my gosh, he wins a million. But again, we're not talking about Joey Logano winning a million dollars. We're talking about Ricky Stenhouse and the punch. (laughs) The predicted punch as well. Yeah, we the headlines now, you just brought up Kyle Larson. He qualifies fifth as a rookie for the Indy 500, and then – Helicopters to plane, back to helicopter, to car, to North Wilkesboro, and finishes third at the All-Star race. I mean, dude had a massive weekend. We're not talking about that. We're not talking about how Scott McLaughlin sets records in Indianapolis for the Indy 500 pole, and then teammate Joey Logano down south takes a million dollars home. We're not talking about the Penske sweep this weekend. We're talking about punches thrown. Is it WWE or racing? Suave, you are so kind to do your due diligence. Do we have some video pulled up, uh, ready to go from the punch? Yeah, what would, you, what would you like first, Kenny? Would you like to hear from Ricky Stenhouse Jr. earlier and in the press conference room, like we mentioned earlier, when he was talking about basically calling a shot that he was going to have to wait after the race to get back at Kyle? Or would you actually like to see the punches themselves? Well, give me, give me the fight. I want to see the fight again. I want to see okay, the fight again. Again, let's set it up real quick. If you didn't see this in the All Star race, again, there was some back and forth between Ricky Stenhouse and Kyle Bush on the racetrack. Kyle Bush ended up taking out uh, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., maybe a little retaliation. And then this is what happened, Freak Nation, with Ricky Stenhouse Jr. and Kyle Bush, if you're watching us. When there's a million dollars on the line, I think all the rules go out the window of uh, clean. So I knew that was coming. I was trying to maintain that clean air. If I lost the clean air, we wouldn't have won the race. So we maintained it all day. And uh, man, feels good. Feels great. Million dollars on the line. I think all the rules go out the window of uh, clean. So I knew that was coming. I was trying to maintain that clean air. If I lost the clean air, we wouldn't have won the race. So we made all the rules go out the window of. uh, Clean, so I don't think I knew that was defending that punch, though. I feel like that was some Taekwondo lessons from Kyle Bush there. But the audio is Whoa. Jamie Little's still with Joy Logano as Fox is showing that video. Yeah, right? I was trying yes. to figure out who was that audio. Who are we listening to <laughs> while we watch a punch? <laughs> <laughs> and Richie, I think you nailed it. I don't think Stenhouse landed the punch. 
I think he air punched him because Kyle moved back and then somebody grabbed Stenhouse and he's like, oh, wait, you got my shirt. There you go, Freak Nation. I'm just I'm just glad that we were when we were watching this live right before we go on air live on the Freak Radio Network. I pointed it out to you guys that they were talking, and I said out loud, I was like, punch him, Ricky, punch him. Not believing he was gonna do it for a second. And 10 seconds later, wham, in comes the right hand from Ricky Stenhouse. Yeah, everybody's got a plan until they get hit in the face, and then <laughs> famous Mike Tyson quote, right? Yep. Oh boy! Wow. So there you go. That's your. Our, oh man! <laughs> is, I know. is that is that the highlight of the? And, and sadly, that's what's going to get. That's what's going to take over the headlines from Kyle Larson, from Scott McLaughlin, is the punch from Ricky Stenhouse to Kyle Bush. You know that's a good point because that race, the All Star race, was boring, and yet that's still going to steal headlines because of the fight post-race over all the incredible racing action that happened on the day. I mean, heck, we haven't even mentioned NHRA and the <laughs> awesome tribute to Don Schumacher with Antron yeah. Brown and Matt Hagen winning. There's so many great racing storylines from this weekend, especially Sunday. Yet, nope, the punch is going to take over all topics at the water cooler come Monday. It's just, I'm not going to say without fail, but Richie was calling a shot, and then again, bam, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. lands the punch, or doesn't land the punch, tries to punch Kyle Busch after a little bit of action on the track at the All-Star Race. Yeah, the shot heard round North Wilkesboro. (laughs) (laughs) This is like the Sapruder film, dude. I love this, because I'm watching a different angle here to see if he actually connected. Right. And I don't think he did. I I think Ricky missed him. Oh, wait, no, maybe he got him. He got him with a one-two, I think. It's a Pruder film. It two. is. <laughs> we'll get. We'll probably hear from Kyle next week if Ricky connected or not. Yeah. Now, yeah. Uh, it will be a on. fun week on social media. There's so much coming up this Memorial Day weekend. Woo! The lead up to all these races is going to be so fun. IndyCar cannot catch a break. No, they can't. Kyle it's Larson fun. was the lead for. 48 hours with Indy, even 72 hours with IndyCar. And then that's, you think Steve Phelps said, stand out after the race, go out there and punch Kyle. I'm tired of all this Kyle Larson IndyCar. I need all the attention back here on NASCAR. <laughs> but it's going to be the Coca-Cola 600. No, it's going to be Ricky Stenhouse Jr. and Kyle Busch at the Coca-Cola 600. And then there's Kyle Larson over there. They're getting the top five in the Indy 500. <laughs> And getting in a oh. helicopter, then getting on a jet, and then yes. another helicopter, and another car. <laughs> oh, it's going to be everybody watching Ricky Stenhouse Jr. and Kyle Busch for the Coca-Cola 600. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh motorsports. Uh, Never I a see, dull moment. If you watch this, if you get a chance to watch, oh, man. Oh, man, what? There, there is more the video. Is there, there's out. more video coming out as we speak, as we as we do this show. Again, this show is typically done live Sunday nights on the Freak Radio Network and across all of our social media channels. And then we put the new episode up on Mav TV, 12 p.m. Pacific, excuse me, 12 p.m. Eastern. And but this is developing as we do the show. Which, by the way, speaking of Freak Nation, Daniel Hemrick. Uh, NASCAR Cup Series pilot who did not make the freaking All Star race, by the way. He will be featured on Mav TV this Thursday night, 10 30 p.m. Eastern on The Life. Uh, fantastic insight to this driver who, Xfinity Series champion, rookie of the year uh, at one time, and now running for Colleg Racing in the Cup Series. It's, they go behind the scenes with uh, Daniel Hemrick. You can see that on Mav TV, 10 30 Pacific. Also coming up in the show, Frederick Osbo. Uh, the winningest driver in Formula D. He'll be here in the Freak Nation. And Antron Brown, winner from Chicago here in the Freak Nation. And Crash, you had a chance to catch up with Scott McLaughlin, your pole sitter for the Indy 500 there at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Huge. Dead silent. Huge weekend. Huge. There's a poll. I just put out a poll okay. um, at Speed Freaks on Twitter. You can vote. If you're watching us on Mav TV, go ahead and vote as well. At Speed Freaks, the poll's still up. Uh, the biggest story of the weekend, uh, Larson, fifth and 500 quality. 
Stenhouse punches Rowdy, and McLaughlin, Scott McLaughlin, did set a brand new record in Indy 500 qualifying today. So those are your three options. And that fastest last one. pole ever, fastest pole ever, mm -hmm. right? Fastest front row ever too. Which we just had that, by the way, two years ago. And so we're just breaking them and breaking them and breaking those records. Crazy. You know what? That's going to be number three. Number one's going to be Ricky Stenhouse and Kyle Busch. Oh, yeah. Number two is going to be going to be Kyle Larson. And then the fastest poll ever is going to be number three. <laughs> <laughs>